Ladies and gentlemen, lads and lassies, boys and girls, welcome. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new stream. Got a few things to cover off today. I am I'm nervous today. We might might upset some people. We might not. We might be talking to no one. Who knows? It could go anyway. But we've got a couple of things to talk about. And I think the reason is that well there's a few changes there's a few changes going on for example today is our first stream as a twitch affiliate and so with that comes a few things that need to change and since uh since we're going to be having a bit of a chat We gotta put the serious glasses on. We gotta get serious, guys. We gotta get serious. Now, let's get into it because uh, you know we're on a we're on a time schedule here. I've only got something like two and a half hours. It's not going to take anywhere near that to discuss the things I want to discuss. But I thought, what better time to discuss all of the things that uh, dis discuss all of these things then right after signing that affiliate contract. I'm going to talk about why I changed from Facebook to Twitch. Some people know that I did that. Some people uh, don't realize. And it's not as if I had this massive following over in, uh, in Facebook or anything like that. Don't get the wrong idea. But in fact, that helped the, 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 uh, that helped because I feel like it's still early enough to make these sort of decisions and not feel like I'm leaving everyone out in the lurch. And I've seen big streamers do that already. Uh, I've seen streamers come over from Facebook for similar reasons in some cases as well and uh, and leave, you know, 30,000 followers behind. Um, and, and, and they get quite a bit of grief for that. But it wasn't that way for me. Um, and so, you know, we'll see. I had a few loyal vo uh, viewers over there. Uh, and hopefully they, they can find their way over to uh, the, well, hopefully greener pastures. But that will remain to be seen. So let's get into why, first of all, I changed platforms. Well, I started, let's say a little, little walk down history lane. I started streaming only a few months ago. I've only been doing this since the 4th of January. The first time I ever hit that live button was the 4th of January. And in fact, the first time I ever built a PC or had a PC uh, was like late December, 2020. So this is new, this is all new anyway. But people always seem to ask, so I thought I'll, I'll, I'll make a, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it. So the first couple of streams, in fact, I'll show you guys. Go straight into it and just have a look. And we'll see if we can pinpoint the exact time that maybe I was, uh, maybe I was turned off. I don't know. I don't know whether this, uh, I don't think this has any sort of, uh, there's nothing on this that's, you shouldn't see. But essentially, 4th of January down there, 7.12 in the evening. New year, new stream. And it went all right. I had uh, I had a couple of people hang out, you know, a, a few. I had one person share this. I could have even been me. I don't know. That's one thing on Facebook is that you can stream and you can, I mean, you can share your uh, your profile and into different groups and all of that sort of thing. But uh, you know, five comments. I was overwhelmed <laughs> with the response. A couple of likes, uh, you know, and and it was okay. I didn't sit there for how long? Four and a half hours, four hours and 13 minutes and, and talk to nobody. 
Uh, I talked to myself a lot, but there was a couple of people that popped in. And so I had the bug right away. So anyway, a couple of streams went by. You can see here we had uh, you know a little bit of... This one here was really quiet. It was only about an hour long, and I was sort of going, I wonder if any, everything's okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. Still trying to figure out if I'm doing everything right. You know, if people can even see me. Um, and so the same day, I later on that afternoon, I went live again. And, you know, we had 26 people hit, uh, you know, jump in and comment and all that sort of thing. Uh, and we had a few views. We had, uh, you know, these numbers here as well make you feel... Excellent you know, impressions and people reached 169 imagine that three or two days in and 169 people are, uh, are Seeing my stuff. That's crazy so Things were going all right um, Four days in Four days in I, uh, I I gathered up the courage because I'm kind of a self-conscious person and as as much as I give the advice to people that you shouldn't worry about what other people think and you know you shouldn't you know if you want to do something you should have the confidence to do that myself I'm the worst one for taking that advice game took um so day three I worked up the courage to next time oh there's a DLC as well I worked up the courage to share my stream out to or my my page out to my own Facebook group or my own my own personal Facebook page uh, and and let everyone know this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm trying to achieve you know I'm not asking for people to uh, you know begging for followers or anything like that but within about an hour of that post I had 85 new followers and uh, and by that night or a couple hours later, uh, I had over a hundred. So, in Facebook, to become affiliated or to join their Level Up program, as they call it, you need 100 followers, and then you need to set, you know, stream a certain amount and meet the Facebook uh, guidelines and all that sort of thing over a 14-day period. So it takes it takes about two weeks uh, if you do everything correctly or do everything right um then we fast forward to like these streams here saturday nights this is where i really started to get the get the bug because um you know the reach wasn't as high but i had 51 people you know commenting in the chat uh sorry 46 comments in the chat a couple of links clicked some reactions you know likes and that sort of thing stuff to get the dopamine flowing and start the uh start the uh the excitement, the hype, as you would over here. And then after that, then I had my, uh, then I had my, I had to go back to work, and so my schedule started to set into place with my three days a week. There's been some some things over the time that I've had to adjust and and whatever else, but my schedule started. So we're going along, and and uh, you know, I was I was making, I was also at the same time trying to learn how to edit videos and cut clips down and all that sort of thing. And so I was posting little bits of content here and there, getting some, getting some comments, getting some likes, whatever else. Um, and here we go here, uh, 18th. So the fourth I started up, the 18th, 14 days later, we got into the, uh, the level up program. Fast forward to this Friday, the Friday of that same week. And one viewer dropped in one specific viewer, we had more than one viewer that night, but one specific viewer dropped in that night and kind of changed things for me as well in a, in a really good way. He dropped he shared the, the stream out to 20 different pages, as you can see here. Uh, and we ended up with about 156 different comments, like in the chat. He had 39 different people like or like or drop reactions and that sort of thing on the stream as well. And you can see by this one down here, the distribution was 5.3 uh, times higher than what I was used to. I'm uh, so we. He comes through. He drops. He drops. Uh, 
he drops stars, which is the equivalent of of bits. He drops. Uh, he actually um, donated money via PayPal as well, um, and and just supported the stream. And and that wasn't the only. He did that the next night too. He came in and he dropped more cash and he dropped more uh, shares and and uh, and it just went. It just went off. Um, in fact, there was about. 20 minutes there where I was just kind of alert after alert after alert because as I've said on a couple of streams so far there was about 240 people that came through and followed the stream um, out of his shares we're posting some clips at this time I'm also starting to post some of these clips onto uh, TikTok and some of these longer videos which I think they might come a little bit later, but some of the longer videos we start to put up onto Facebook, uh, sorry, YouTube as well. And that's kind of where things started to go a little south. So things were kicking along. Streams were looking good. 182 comments, 145 comments, you know, sorry, 100. 82 uh, engagements so that's comments likes reactions shares all that sort of thing uh, especially friday night streams they were friday or saturday night streams were really the the big ones for me i'd be at the time i'd be topping out at around 20 viewers or so and for me that was significant because don't forget i'm only a month into streaming and 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 this is all new to me and I thought you know I see I'm on those Facebook pages uh, about you know streamer support pages and all that sort of thing where every second post is you know I'm I'm grinding for affiliate I'm trying to get um, trying to get my viewers up and every post you know they've got 300 followers and they've got one uh, average viewer and and before you sort of know anything you go oh man this must be really tough and and all the youtube i'm the kind of guy that researches everything that i want to do as well and so all the youtube videos that i've watched um all talk about how uh how undiscoverable twitch is and i kind of just went okay well streaming in general must be like that um however i did understand that facebook uh, was supposed to be better and for all i could see here that was true and that's what kind of drew me to Facebook in the first place was the fact that I had no outside methods of being discovered. I knew that I was going to start up playing Fortnite and I knew that if I was going to start up playing Fortnite on Twitch, people would have to scroll for about 10 minutes before they even got to the top of the zero viewer streams and uh, God forbid how long they'd have to stream before they'd find me. And then when they did, why would they click me and not the guy on either side? So I thought Facebook has uh, a, a better opportunity for me to actually get a little bit of traction. And not only that, the streams that I was watching at the time were all on Facebook as well. Um, I had Twitch. I think I've had a, a, a Twitch account since like 2015. Um, but I very, very, very rarely used it. Uh, so that's all good. We start to post some stuff. Friday nights go well. And then one day... I posted um, and it might not even be here anymore in fact it's not I took it off but I posted my YouTube link instead of my YouTube video and I kept an eye on it because every time I post something, I always check back every so often and try to see, you know, how how it's doing. Have I had any engagement? Has anyone even seen it? And it took about two hours before anyone even saw the post. Uh, and this was a Thursday. So I was like, that's odd. Like, maybe they don't like the fact that I've posted a link. Maybe it's waiting to be approved. Who knows? But anyway, it got a couple of little likes and whatever else, but nothing crazy, nothing uh, to... In fact, it was under... It underperformed massively compared to what I was used to on my other posts. Like, I have a post here, which is just literally a photo I took from uh, 
Dungeons and Dragons game I was playing on an off night. Uh, and it had a hundred people reach, 13 different likes and reactions and that sort of thing. So that's kind of what I would expect a normal post to do. And this thing tanked hard. Um, and so the next day was Friday and I was pumped up because my Friday streams were um, traditionally pretty good from the few that I'd had. Obviously, I'm still only sort of uh, a couple of months into it, but my Friday streams would be topping out about 20 people and whatever else. And, and that was exciting for me, uh, of course. And so I jumped on, ready to go, fired up the game, fired up the stream, and um, this, it had three one minute views. I, it was very quiet, so quiet in fact that I, I shut the stream down and started it again. And that's why I've got this here saying, um, you know, let me know if you can actually see this. Um, and anyway, I pushed through, I finished up the stream and had a look at the report that I get afterwards and I had a maximum, not average, maximum view count of one viewer on a Friday night. Now, I'm not whinging. Like, I'm not whinging about the view count itself. That's fine. Like, I'm, I'm happy that at one person in the world wanted to spend a little bit of time having a look at what I was up to. Like, that's great. But what I'm... What I am frustrated about and what started me off looking around to other places was the fact that one thing that clearly annoyed Facebook, and look, I'm making assumptions that this is what did it, but one thing that clearly annoyed Facebook meant that the algorithm wasn't recommending me at all because someone random would only have to scroll past for a couple of seconds and my stream would pop up and that would count as a second viewer right so there's no way that you're going to tell me on a friday night when i'm used to 20 um that i'm only getting a, a top of one and for the most time it was zero um i don't look at my view count anymore uh because i found that i was getting a bit crazy with it and i was sort of finding myself looking up every couple of seconds and checking if it changed and so i switched that off now which took a couple of streams to get used to um, but i'm glad i did so if any of you guys don't do that and you think that maybe it would help you i highly recommend it i go back and i look afterwards and sometimes i catch it if i go into the twitch dashboard at all but while i'm streaming my focus is on because at the end of the day my content should be the same if no one is here which could be the case right now. You guys could have all left. I don't know. But my content should be exactly the same as if you guys are all here. Or if there's, you know, 50 people. Um, and so I don't want that number to drive what I do either. Uh, so that was my first sort of exposure to the algorithm. Um, and from there I did what I do. And I went off and I researched the Facebook algorithm. And I found out a couple of interesting things. Uh, one is that absolutely your discoverability is algorithm based. So as long as you're doing the things that Facebook likes and recognizes to be good, um, you'll have a higher chance of being recognized. Uh, secondly, unfortunately, one of those things that is labeled good is never changing games. Now, my description said I'm a variety streamer. Yes, I had only played one game so far because I wanted to sort of build up um, a bit of an audience doing something consistent before I started to try to make any changes. Um, but from what I saw and from from the statistics I'd seen in the in the uh, videos that I'd watched, um, every time you change videos on Facebook gaming, uh, the algorithm just tanks and you have to build back. Even if you're a huge streamer, like they rely on the fact that people know they're going live and they're an audience that are gonna come in regardless. But even then the, the recommendations and that sort of thing tank a bit and they have to build that back up. It's quicker because they have a, an, an established audience, but they still have to build up. Uh, so I didn't like the fact that it was going to force me to stick to one game 
Uh, and if I had to play Fortnite and nothing else forever, because I'm not exceptionally good at the game either, um, I'd probably, I'd probably just give it up because there's no way I could commit to that. Um, so that was the first thing that sort of turned me, well, the first thing that turned me off was the fact that that one little post, that first little mistake, I suppose, which shouldn't really be a mistake because it's my content regardless, um, that first little mistake of posting my YouTube link caused such a big disturbance to my, uh, to my growth. And secondly, the fact that, um, anytime I wanted to change a game in the future, or even do this, uh, because there's not really any sort of built-in just chatting facility in Facebook. The other thing that I found was that it was inconsistent. So even when growth was going, it was super inconsistent. And it could be that other streamers were on. It could be that the audience wasn't on. You know, it could just be random. Um, it, it Because it's so algorithm-based, there's no way for you to know exactly what you should be doing. And even the people that comment and post uh, videos about the algorithm tell us in the videos look we don't really know exactly what how it goes and it seems to change uh, from time to time as well so there's no surefire way of do this and and you will hopefully grow um, and the third thing I just really didn't enjoy with Facebook gaming uh, that I found pretty quickly after my first stream. You hear the music that I've got going right now. One of the first places that I found myself when I started uh, looking into streaming, and I'm sure most of you have found yourself in the same place as well, is Harris Heller's Alpha Gaming channel on YouTube. And one thing that man has done um, other than just being an absolute champion, is release a library of music on, on Spotify or, you know, other, wherever you stream your music called Stream Beats. And essentially, he's paid uh, music producers to um, produce music <laughs> that he can, uh, that, that's copyright free and that you can play on your streams without worrying about being DMCA'd or, or, um, or having your streams muted or any of that sort of thing. Unless you're on Facebook, where they still will mute your streams or potentially shut them down if their uh, if their bots just happen to pick up that you're playing this music that's not specifically from their um, from their library. If we have a look over here, Creative Tools Sound Collection, they've actually got their own library of of music, which you know it's got got plenty of stuff in there um so they've got this library of music and look i'm not an audiophile or anything like that but it's not great um it's not yeah it's not it's not excellent and, and you're limited to playing this music if you want to have music on your stream, which I, I played a couple of streams without music, and they're just, they're just slow. They're quiet, especially if no one is there. If no one is chatting, they get really quiet. And so that one's just a... That's just a bugbear, but it was kind of just an annoying thing. So what I did was I um, looked into multi-streaming so when that guy came into my my stream and dropped that donation to paypal he he uh sent it to me with the not really an instruction but he kind of left a note to say you know this is to start you off on your journey um why don't you set yourself up with Streamlabs Prime so that you can you know get your get a website you can get different overlays like make things a little bit more personal and so I did um, and one of the other things that Streamlabs Prime allows you to do is to multi-stream from Streamlabs so I thought you know what like I'll give it a shot because the other thing was I'd started to get into uh, discord and I'd found myself into I found my way into a discord server 
uh, and suddenly all of the streamers I was watching were on Twitch and not on Facebook. And the problem that I was finding, all of a sudden I found myself in these networks of great creators and great streamers that all streamed on Twitch. And everyone streams on Twitch, right? So Twitch is massively saturated and that's part of the reason why I was kind of, I guess, afraid in a way in the first place to, to try and make a start there because I had to ask myself, why would anyone click me over the next guy? And at that time, I really had no answer. And so what I did was I fired up a couple of streams. Actually, what I did, I'll backtrack a little bit, is after that night where everything went south and I had one viewer, I shut down that stream and I thought, just for just for the heck of it, I feel like playing a different game for a little while. I might fire up my stream on Twitch. So I did. And I started playing this random game. Uh, and a viewer dropped in and, and, and started having a chat with me. And I was like, this is excellent. Like, I haven't done anything uh, other than fire up a stream. And at least one person has dropped in to have a chat. And I really liked being in Twitch streams. And I really enjoyed spending time in people's Twitch streams. And so I found myself gravitating that way. And... I'd be multi-streaming, um, but I'd find myself focusing more on the Twitch side of things than anything else. I was I was streaming to Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, so I did that for I guess seven days, which isn't a huge amount of time, but um, it was clearly based on the fact that I'm sitting here as an affiliate now, um, it was clearly enough time to know that I could bring people in and, and I could have, um, you know, I could I could get the numbers that I needed to get to be able to, to get into the affiliate program and whatever else. And uh, and just enjoying the, the vibe over at Twitch a lot more. Um, on Facebook, it's a lot. It's it's personal in the sense that everyone has their f <clears throat> their names. Most people just watch streams out of their own Facebook page, so people's names are in there, and you kind of get to know them a bit that way. But it's also a little impersonal in the sense that, um, you know, like I said, I had about three hundred and eighty followers, um, or two hundred and forty odd came through in one night. That's all they ever were is is a is a follow, and they never once came into the stream. I don't think they even came into the stream when they followed, because you can just hit follow on the page. Um, and so it really it really didn't mean all that much. Whereas my my last stream before getting affiliate, which was on Monday night, um, I started that stream at thirty six followers, I think it was. I just threw water up my nose. And um, and I ended it at something like 56. And every one of them were people I already kind of knew. Like people whose streams I'd been into. People whose uh, names I'd seen popping up. Through, uh, through Discord and that sort of thing as well. So. While I was doing those initial seven streams and getting to affiliate i was i thought you know i'll i'll, I'll still i'm not going to lock myself into anything i'm still going to stick to multi-streaming and i think you should if you're in a position that you can i definitely recommend uh i definitely recommend um diversifying your 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 content in that way and uh and streaming to multiple platforms because why not right because maybe twitch isn't for you Maybe Facebook's not for you. Maybe YouTube's not for you. Maybe YouTube is. <coughs> um, and maybe the other two are not. But you'll never know if you never try. And so... And there's a lot of videos out there that talk about why you should never become an affiliate and all of that sort of thing as well. Um, and so I was kind of really against it for, uh, for a while. until the opportunity came to me 
to become one. And then I had to have a bit of a think about it. Um, and I went back and I rewatched those videos as well. And I thought, you know, maybe that'll help point me in the right direction. I looked over the, the statistics from my multi streams. Facebook was still tanking hard, except for the one or two viewers that would always be there, which was great. Um, and you know, like I said at the start, I'm sorry to have left those guys behind, but hopefully they can, they can find their way here. YouTube had zero viewers whatsoever. So I think that, and then, and then if I look at, um, you know, the stream I had for my, my last one before going affiliate, I averaged something like 17 viewers for that, uh, for that few hours. And, um, you know, I hit, I came into that stream averaging something like 3.1 anyway. Like I was already over the average I needed for affiliate. I just needed the followers and I needed that last stream. So what changed between me being super against signing an affiliate agreement and me next day doing that is that all the videos that talk about why you should never do this um talk about how twitch is essentially an undiscoverable platform there's no built-in mechanism really for, for discovery and so as a result you need to do the work to bring the audience in and when i first started streaming i had none of that it was clear that I, I, the only thing i had to do at that time was to go live and and hope and that's probably not going to get people to where they want to be so fast forward to when i hit the affiliate uh requirements um all of a sudden i've, I've spent the last x amount of weeks in discords networking with different streamers spending time in different uh streams um, building building relationships and building you know friendships uh, with other streamers around the world off top so fast forward to getting that email that everyone waits for you're invited to to be part of the affiliate program you're invited to be a twitch affiliate awesome So now I'm faced with this decision to go against everything, you know, be stubborn and, and keep fighting it and think, you know, no, 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 I know best. Or, you know, think about my position where I am now and how that, how that affiliate agreement is different through that lens compared to the lens of someone who has no content, and no idea what they're doing and, and having never even fired up a stream. Um, because now I have, you know, a, albeit small, but growing catalog of content on TikTok. I have a couple of YouTube videos. I have, uh, as inactive as they may be, a, a little following on Facebook that I can, um, you know, share out my link to and that sort of thing. And on top of all of that, I have you guys. Um, and so ultimately I, uh... I hit accept. And now I'm here. And look. I'm not stupid. Well, pff, I mean. I'm not naive enough to think that every stream is going to go the way the last one went. Um, or that, you know, it's just going to be a straight uphill ride. I'm not silly but what i am is absolutely determined and keen to fully invest into one place and then use that to diversify and you know put out other content in other places other than live streaming um the other thing i think that twitch will do or that that you know affiliating myself with twitch does is it actually allows me to have a more engaging stream with you guys anyway 
So, you know, it was it, it was the last stream where, you know, we all know and love the Norwegian uh, beauty as wiped. Um, get wiped in the chats, guys. You know, he made the comment, you know, I wish you were an affiliate so that I could... Uh, you know, drop all the bits and gift all the subs. And like, at the end of the day, I don't care about that stuff. But it did highlight the fact that there are limitations that come with not being affiliated and, and with engaging with your audience. And it's not about the fact that he can now do those things, but even simple things like channel points. Yeah, you know, they're not the be all and end all, but they can be fun. And I've seen them used in some really great ways. And there's, uh, you know, now that's something that I can... Um, get creative with and try to make exciting and engaging for you guys as well. There's um, the fact that I can have emotes and that sort of thing and, and uh, you know, there is obviously the fact that if people want to uh, start up hype and all of that sort of thing, then now they're able to. But the main thing is it allows me to focus in one central place with one central community and uh, Deliver the best content that I, I think I can for them. So that's why I decided to stop multi-streaming and to focus my attention on on, on uh, Twitch. And that's the other thing as well is that it yeah, like I said, I can focus my attention on Twitch because even though like so I was lucky in a way that I had no one over on uh, YouTube watching because trying to manage two chats was. Um, you know challenging and even like i had to be creative about the way because what the last thing that i wanted to do was to be like oh yeah thanks queen hilsey for for you know um saying that and then the guys on facebook being like what the fuck's a what's a queen hilsey and then you know thanks darren over on facebook for for saying that and you guys are like who the fuck's darren like you know and Right now, that's not so hard to manage, but I had to be creative about ways that I could try to involve both streams um, into the same sort of place as well and, and, and keep it uh, flowing. Um, but now, I don't have to stress about any of that stuff because it's just me and you guys. You've got me now. I'm here to stay and uh, you're not getting rid of me anytime soon. Sorry. But anyway, that's the long and short of it. Any questions? Other than... Can you play a game now? 